Alright folks, this is the situation at hand. This was my back porch. That was the roof. So was that. Uh, these are some boards I'm saving. Some hemlock fir from Boise Cascade. Nice lumber, man. You don't see too much lumber like that anymore. Sorry, I'm on low power. There's my junk trailer and there's my scrap trailer. You can see where it was. It's real shallow and the reason I'm tearing it off is I'm going to put a room here. But the big reason why this is all going on is because the roof was leaking real bad. It had two layers of shingles on it. It was just an absolute train wreck. So I don't really want to be doing this right now. But that's owning a house. No matter what you want. So these beams are tied into the house. I have to remove them. We're going to use this little daddy to do it. Kind of epic disaster I make doing this. Downspout pipe, I kind of needed to save for now, but oh well. I'm not left handed, and that's what I was trying to hold, or I just wasn't trying to do that right. That's what happens when you have to do everything by yourself. See, so yeah, I was going to save that pipe, and I was going to hook it into there and run it down to where it used to go, which is down there, but uh, not now, over. It's pretty smushed. I guess I could still rig it up somehow. Water will get through it. But that, there's another outlet at the other end of that gutter. I just think it falls both ways. I don't remember. I can't tell. But, um, the goal, I have to put a new roof on. I'm going to put overhangs on because I don't have overhangs. And that's killing my windows on the ends of the house. They're taking all the weather real hard. And uh, I'm going to make it look like my garage. I'm very proud of my garage. We're gonna shingles are gonna match, and I'm gonna put wood and pine on the side here, board and bat. And I use the musket brown Alcoa products only, baby. Some of the best stuff out there. It's a little pricey though. And I might extend that one more section. But all right, I gotta go because my phone's gonna die. Moving along, you notice the absence of a deck here now. Don't mind my junk. Um, what I come in here for? Oh, I need a line block. I'm going to pull the nails and save those. The trusty mortar mixer I bought for 50 bucks and put a new motor on. Hey! Keep them up! Big pull shot! Okay, here's the situation now. Uh, there was a window here, and when I was beating some of the deck boards off, I knocked some of my block loose. So um, I'm making this window go away, anyways. So my buddy's over there farting with the mortar mixer. I bought that for 50 bucks and put a new motor on for 250. One of the Hobo Freight ones, and I think running about four or five years. So having a little issues with it, but. Clean the car about. We'll get it here in a little bit. It just needs run. Got my line blocks, my line set up. My block, mortar board, you know, whole nine yards. That's in a hole, man. Let's see if I still got it, huh? 